Hey guys, it's the Ballistic Celt again. Uh, we're doing a nine millimeter budget hollow point review. Um, this time, I figured, you know, everyone's testing their their pistols and stuff, so I'm just trying to get some YouTube data out there for all you guys that use like full size 16 inch barrels on your nine millimeter carbines. This one's particularly popular, the Keltec Sub 2000. It's been out for for a few years. I've got the uh, Midwest Industries blast can on the end there to direct some of that sound away from my neighbors, waiting on my suppressor to come in, hashtag repeal the NFA. Um, anyway, so here's what we did. This is the Hornady Gunner American, uh, American Gunner, I mean, uh, 124 grain plus P. So uh, I shot it into some water jugs and here's what we got. We penetrated three jugs through and through. The first two jugs uh, blew up, cracked open pretty good. The fourth jug, the um, the bullet left a crack on the very front of the fourth jug. So here's what we got. We we uh, we had a little fragmentation. Now this piece here, that part was still attached when I pulled it out of the water, and then in the process of getting ready for the video, I kind of bumped it and that little piece fell off. So uh, we can't exactly count that one, but I think there was sufficient jacket core separation and fragmentation of the other pedals to kind of shine a little light on the poor quality of, well, it's not even that it's a bad bullet, it does fine in a handgun, but shooting it through, through a rifle is a little bit much however you know the penetration was good so if you put it where it needs to be then you're gonna really uh, do a number on your target so um, so the the lead core uh, expanded to 0.54 caliber and then the not exactly sure uh, the the lead core and the copper jacket were both found in the third jug and these fragments were found in the first and second jug but not sure exactly how deeply this part would have penetrated since it did come loose but we know at least that part uh, cracked the back of the fourth or the front of the fourth water jug so that's that's pretty good penetration you know I think if it makes it all the way through three water jugs that's that's decent I mean the um, the HST will typically just leave a dent on the back of the third water jug. And so that's kind of my, you know, HST is a great bullet. So I, I figure if it can make a crack or a dent in the back of the third jug, I'm counting that as being good. So a little bit of redneck science, but anyway, um, definitely, you know, a, a budget option. It's a little bit more expensive because it is Hornady, but uh, it's still like the cheapest of the name brand bullets, you know. Um, so I think it's a good value because you get a box of 25 and I've been paying about, uh, I want to say it was like 18 or maybe it was 18.99 at Academy Sports. So anyway, it's, it's a decent option. Uh, I've got some more videos that I'm going to put out. I did two more tests today. So watch those and maybe those might be more to your liking or perhaps this is your, you know, your preferred performance. So anyway. Y'all have stay. Y'all, y'all have a good day. Stay safe. Keep carrying.